in the beginning, there are these two driftwood logs, an elm and an ash, and they're found on the seashore by two gods who are just taking a walk. The gods give the wood human shape and they bring it to life with blood, breath, and curious minds. Hmm. Now, unlike the Christian creation story, where Eve is an afterthought, you know, fashioned out of Adam's rib because Adam is lonely and Adam is made in the image of God, but Eve is made in the image of Adam. Mm -hmm. In the Norse myth, Embla, the woman, and Asker, the man, are made at the same time by the same gods for the same reasons and almost out of the same stuff. You have an ash tree and an elm tree. And so I thought, well, what are those woods used for? Well, ash wood was used for oars and the shafts of spears. And elm wood, I found out, was used for cart wheels and hunting bows. So both of these woods have uses in both peace and wartime. That's interesting. I think, you know, that's how we have to think of the men and women of the Viking Age. They were social equals and their roles in the society were not defined by their gender, but based on, you know, their own characteristics, their ability, their ambition, their family ties, you know, their wealth, you know, their opportunities, you know, things like that. Not specifically, you know, men on one side and women on the other. 